everybody and welcome back to another pregnancy video. Today we are going to be talking about week 24. I'm hungry. According to the Bump app, baby is the size of a cantaloupe at 11.8 inches and 1.3 pounds. Baby's getting bigger. Not crazy big, but bigger. The Bump app says common symptoms include swollen ankles and feet, leg cramps, back aches, the dark line that goes like up between your, um, like where your belly button is and everything like that. You can get like a dark line there and stretch marks. I'll tell you what, week 14 hasn't been like too super eventful, but things are still changing. As you can see, I am hungry. I'm always hungry. I'm always eating. And in my last one, I told you guys about me losing weight and not gaining weight this pregnancy. This is the Special K Protein Meal Bar Chocolatey Chip. Looks like this. It's really freaking good. It's really freaking expensive. It's the bomb.com, but I'm still hungry. And I'm eating all of my meals, full meals. I'm having protein shakes and I am having these bars. And I've even tried like drinking milkshakes at night and I ate like a whole freaking box of donuts the other day. I'm still not gaining any weight, so I don't know what's going to happen at my next doctor's appointment. I guess we'll find out. I haven't been having any leg or foot cramps like the app suggests. Um, I'm not getting the dark line and I also um, don't really have any back aches or stretch marks. I don't have any stretch marks. I didn't get any stretch marks throughout my other pregnancies and I'm crossing my fingers this time that I don't get any stretch marks again, but everybody's pregnancy and every pregnancy is different. I don't have the back aches yet, which is actually kind of surprising because I have back issues, I have scoliosis and everything like that, but my hips, oh my gosh, my hips hurt so, so bad already. Um, and I say already like, like I'm not 24 weeks, I guess. I started having hip pain eight, at 18 weeks with my other pregnancies because I was working a job where I was constantly walking and moving and sitting and standing and all kinds of things. And so for it to start happening around now is actually pretty good. I had my last doctor's appointment the other day and things were good. My blood pressure was good. It was actually much lower than it usually is, so we can't complain there. Um, I'm not showing any signs of developing preeclampsia yet, which is good. Um, my urine test came back fine. I did a 24-hour urine protein test. That was fine. But the one fun thing that's happening is I got all of my paperwork to take the glucose test. So we all love the glucose test. I know if you're a pregnant mom or you've just had a baby or any of that, you know how much fun the glucose test is. I can't wait. Baby is on the move, on the move. And I mean on the move. This kid is not slowing down, not stopping, not sleeping. And I don't know about anybody else, but this baby seems to be the most active at night. And fun tip I found out, I don't know if anybody's really ever thought about this, if your baby moves a lot at night, when you are in a more relaxed state and all of your muscles start relaxing, it actually makes your uterus widen a little bit, it gets a little bit bigger. So when you are sleeping and you're relaxing and those muscles let go, your baby actually has more room to move around. So they're like, oh hey, let me stretch out a little bit. And then you're sleeping and your baby's like, I'm punching over here, I'm punching over there, let me do a leg kick over here. And all of your organs and your bones and your stomach are getting abused all night long because your body is more relaxed. Fun fact. I still have a lot of like congestion in my chest and my throat is still swollen and like my sinuses and everything. That is something that I just suffer through with all of my pregnancies. I get a cold in the middle of winter or something and then it just basically never goes away. Unfortunately, I'll just probably be dealing with this until the end, but once the baby's out, totally fine. Everything goes away. I talked about the other week, I can't remember if it was in my last weeks one or a couple weeks ago about having the letdown feeling of um, like when you are trying to nurse your baby and the milk starts coming out and you get that tingly feeling. I started having that the other week and then I made the video about it and everything and then I thought I had started leaking like a drop here or there and then like now I'm definitely leaking. Um, it's not a lot, I don't need to wear like a pad or anything like that but I have started leaking just a little bit here and there. Nothing major, not like with my first pregnancy where I would like wake up in a puddle. I'm hoping I don't get to that point again, but 
I probably will. Time will tell. I think that's pretty much about it for this week. Nothing super exciting, just more hip pain, I'm hungry, still not gaining weight, the usual. That's kind of about it, but anyway, I would like to hear what you think about week 24, if you are close to week 24, or if you are currently pregnant, please leave me a comment down below letting me know how far along you are, or if you've just had your baby, or anything like that. I would love to hear from you. Also give this video a big thumbs up, Please hit the subscribe button to show your support for this working mother and I would love to have you along on this journey. So anyway, thumbs up, subscribe, I will see you guys in the next one.